really excited to open this. This is a new style that I haven't seen from Tory Burch and it's kind of a dupe for one of my favorite handbags, the Goyard um, Artois. Although this may be a combination of the St. Louis and the Artois kind of like combined. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And as you all know, whenever you get something from Tory Burch, it has a nice little thank you note. But we are not here for that. We're here for the bag. And this is it. This is the Tory Burch Ever Ready Zip Tote. And this is the color Zinc. Now, right off the bat, there is some color difference from what you see online to what you see here on camera. And I'm going to put up a picture of it there. The vibe that I was getting from the internet was like a little bit more like beige like warmer tones. But this is the straight light gray, dark gray, cool tones all throughout. And it really does feel like the Goyard. Let me go ahead and give you a spin of the bag. It is in coated canvas, which is nice and thick. It has this basket weave pattern. Now this bag does come in an assortment of colors. They have a blue, a yellow, peach, ivory, and this color, which they're calling zinc. There's the bottom of the bag. And up front, it has this little tab that says Tory Burch, New York. The handle and the trimmings on this are faux leather, but I'm not getting that plasticky type feel. They're very pliable and flexible, like my Goyard Artois handles are. And they're about the same thickness and weight almost. You do have a zipper at the top, which is really convenient for keeping your things um, concealed. The zipper is brass, and then you have a nice faux leather um, zipper pull here which is kind of split like that, as you can see. The zipper is flexible. It does feel nice. I am able to open it with one hand. I don't have to tug or pull anything. And then the end of the zipper, you're able to tuck it in or keep it hanging out, whatever you prefer. It has two top handles with a 9.3 inch drop. So it's not gonna sit up too high on your arm or it's not gonna sit too low down the waist. It's gonna fit just right. And it's very light. It, Again, it reminds me so much of the Goyard Artois and the Neverfull to be Now, fine. on the inside, you have this really nice, soft, cotton-lined material. It does have a removable zippered pouch, and I'll go ahead and I'll put the dimensions for that here, but I'm going to show you everything that fits in here. You also have one interior zippered pouch that is attached to the top of the bag, like so. And it's a pretty big compartment. I have a notebook here that's 8.25 inches by 6 inches. And I'm able to fit it in here. And close the zipper. Now the bonus here is that it does come with a removable zippered pouch. Much like the Neverfull. I love this. I love this for putting my daily essentials. Maybe a card case. Something that I can just, you know put in and out of the bag if I need to run to lunch, if I need to run an errand and I don't want to take the whole bag with me, I just take this thing. The way that you remove it is through this little D-ring here. So you unbuckle it, you remove the strap from the D-ring, and then you have the pouch to take it with you wherever you need. I just realized while I was editing this that I never showed you how to take the strap off of the bag itself. You just unloop it through there and then you pull it right out of that D-ring and it comes right out. Now because this does come with a good D-ring, I'd imagine that if you wanted to wear this as a wristlet or use it as like a wristlet option, you can go ahead and purchase a um, clip that has a little leather loop, maybe in gray, maybe in black, and you can use this as a wristlet as well. Now we're going to go ahead and see what fits in here. I'm really excited for this because while I do have the Telfar medium shopping bag for work, I also wanted something in a different colorway since I'm planning to go back to the office now a little bit more than I used to. I wanted something that wasn't black all the time. So I'm interested in seeing if a 16 inch MacBook Pro fits in here. It does state on the website that a 13 inch MacBook Pro fits, but this is a 16 inch and let's take a look. It does, it does fit in there, <laughs> much like the Goyard Artois. It actually fits pretty much the same way. 
I also have the portable keyboard from Apple. I'm not sure what the measurements of this are, but it's a lot wider than the laptop. And that also fits in there. It comes down to like about right here. But as you can see, it fits. It's a little bit tight, but it fits. It can fit an iPad. It can fit all of your essentials. I have a water bottle here, which fits perfectly in there. I'm currently using the Dooney & Berg Florentine Satchel in a size small. And let's say I wanted to move into this. I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, I have an envelope here with some coupons because it's that time of the year. The Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I mean, it fits a continental wallet. You get the drift. It fits. If it can fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro, it can fit anything. My sunglasses and etc 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 now once you load it up with your laptop and all of your heavy objects it is going to wrinkle and kind of cave in in certain spots that's just the nature of coated canvas unfortunately that's what makes it so durable um, but if you wanted to fix this problem and you wanted to make it a more structured bag you can go ahead and put in a bag organizer here's the bag organizer that i used on my goyard artois mm if you're interested in looking at that review, I'll go ahead and leave it linked down below. But this is from Omni Style and it's from Amazon. I'll have that link down below as well. But once you put that in, it fits nice and perfect and it gives some additional structure to the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my laptop again and my iPad to see if it continues to um, wrinkle up. And it does, but it's not as pronounced as it was before. And in case you're wondering, with the bag organizer and a 16 inch MacBook Pro, I am still able to zip it up. Now to go ahead and move into this cute little pouch. This is the pouch that I'm currently using. It's just a soft leather pouch. As you can imagine, everything that fits here is definitely gonna fit in here. So here is a Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. It's pretty stuffed up. That fits in there, no problem. So if you wanna put a wallet, it'll definitely fit a card case or a compact wallet like that. I have the MAC um, Compact Pressing Powder, the Gucci Flora Rollerball Perfume. I love this scent, it's a staple in my bag. Tizzle Primer and Sunscreen. This is what I put on under my makeup. Clinique Chubby Stick Blush. Whenever I need to, you know, brighten up my face a little bit, this does wonders. This is the Rouge Coco Lip Gloss from Chanel, and it's in the shade 804. I always get this shade. It's just, it works really well with my skin tone. Some Revlon eyeliner. And then I have tons of lip products. So I have lip balms, lipsticks, different shades of lipsticks. Last but not least is my Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. This is really the only thing that's been able to cure my dry lips in the winter. It's already below 30 degrees here and it's snowing every day. So I have one of these in my purse, I have one in my car, and I have one at home. And I just slather it on and I wake up with beautiful, soft, not cracked lips. I highly recommend this if your lips are constantly chapped, especially in the winter time. So let's say I have all of that in there and I wanna put in like a card case, no problem, it'll fit. Zip it right up, looks super cute. Throw it in the bag and whenever I need to run an errand or something, I just pull this right out. So if you're looking for something that's comparable to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, this is um, probably comparable to the MM size. It's not as small as a PM, although she does offer a smaller version of this that's probably sized more like a PM. This doesn't have the reinforced corners like the Goyard Artois does, but it's a little bit more structured than the Goyard St. Louis. And it really reminds me of the Neverfull. So this is probably a combination of those three bags in one. This bag currently retails for $2.98. Um, although she's currently running a promotion that if you subscribe to her mailing list, you're able to get 15% off. So that comes out to like $2.53 plus tax and the shipping is free. I highly recommend this if you're looking into the Louis Vuitton Neverfull or the Goyard Artois or any canvas tote style bag. There's hundreds of them out there. This is a great alternative um, to get you started. That's my review on Tory Burch's Ever Ready Zip Tote. If you have any questions or if there's anything else that I can clarify for you, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.